Hi, it's Reagan from Pencils Teaching Tidbits. Today I'm going to show you a peek inside the interactive math games. So far I have five interactive math games created. Each set studies a different strand of the math standards and there are five different games inside each strand. <clears throat> Today we're going to take a look at the two newest games that we have. The first one will be measurements. So I'm going to click on that to open it up and inside there I will find my five games and the directions on how to use them. So for today we're going to click on about how many the first game to open it up. Once you open it, it is ready to go. So you'll notice there are blank pages in between. Don't worry, those are there to help the computer reset when the game is over. Everything is programmed for you. All you need to do is push play or teach your students to push play. And to do so, you just move your mouse up and click the play button and it will start from beginning. This is gonna put the game in full screen mode. What's awesome is that your kids can click around all they like and they will not mess up the game. To advance, they'll click the play button about how many. Click the number it will take to measure. So students will take a look at what's being measured and decide how many of the measuring ob object, the non-standard measuring object, they will need to measure. If they click the incorrect number, they will get a reinforcer to let them know. And when they click the correct answer, they will see the five or however many um, non-standard units used to measure. Then they click to the next slide. About how many? Again, if they click incorrectly, they will know. And when they click correctly, they will see it and be able to count it out. So this game will continue this way until students reach the end. When students reach the end, they will have a positive reinforcing um, slide and then they will get to either start over or they will get to um, escape and go to the next one. All right, so you get the idea of this. I'm going to push escape, which will exit the game early. When I do that, I can just close out this game and click the next one. I just slide my mouse up and push play. This um, particular measurement game is going to help students follow this black line on each animal to measure. It's not specifically um, tied to inches or centimeters, it's just a number. So you can, um, it's more of like an introductory level. So students click the correct answer for that positive reinforcer. The black line is a visual to help students to know because they might want to go to the end of the tail without noticing where the black line ends. And the game continues. I'm going to push escape and exit. Other concepts here um, are going to be oh, the standard for comparing an object in relation to um, another object or comparing three objects as shortest and longest. So it's tap the correct number for shortest. Again, students are going to get that positive reinforcer letting them know when they've gotten it correct. I'm going to escape. The next game is going to be larger or smaller. This one is showing students they have to think of these objects in the real world. So which is smaller than a basket? And in the box, these two objects are relatively the same size, so they have to think of it in real life. If they choose incorrectly, they are told and get that reinforcing um, error sign, which is larger than a pair of scissors. 
which is larger than a wheelbarrow. And so on. Each game has roughly 20 slides. Some of them have more, some of them have um, slightly less. All right, I'm gonna escape this game. And the last game in this particular pack is Second Minute Hour, which covers the standard for measuring lengths of time that go by in our lives. So this game is going to give the students a prompt. How long does it take to wash my hands? A second, a minute, or an hour? So students can click incorrectly and pop the balloon and then correctly. They want to not pop their balloon, so they try to click the correct answer. And they hear that applause as a reinforcer. All right, I'm going to escape. Now I'm gonna show you a different set. The newest one that I just added today is addition to 20 games. So we will start, let's start with the easiest, which would be our popping up doubles game. These exact same games are available in sums to 10. So if you have um, students who are still needing to work below 10, on addition, then that would be a better set for you. If your students are ready to tackle above 10, then this would be a great set for you. All right, so students can click the correct sum for the double and get that positive reinforcer. And it goes through all of the doubles to 24 twice. All right, I'm gonna escape, show you a different game. We'll do Lucky Ducky, push play. In this game, students are given a number prompt and they must click the two ducks that go together to make that, that answer. So for 12, students would click five and seven. If they click eight, nothing happens. 14, eight and six. 11, 7, 4, 11, a different way, 5, and 6, and the game continues. All right, another game would be computing sums. So this one, students love a good calculator, so here they're just reading across nine plus four, and if they want, they can click the numbers and then click the answer. Seven plus eight, 15. Five plus eight, 13, and so on. All right, exiting that, taking a look, we also have gummy sums, fish play, Gummy sums to 20. 12 plus three, they click the number, 15. Two plus 15. Eleven plus five, and so on. All right, escaping that, exiting. Let's do, I believe, We've done all of them, but shooting add-ins. Shooting add-ins to 20. They have to click two basketballs to equal this target sum. So to equal 16, I'm gonna click nine and seven. If I click the eight, I don't make any baskets. Six plus eight equals 14. 10 and 6, and so on. 
All right, well, I hope this was helpful in showing you. If you ever um, start a game or students are using a game on any device and something goes wrong, somehow the game is not working anymore, the best thing to do, because these are pre-programmed, is just to go back to TPT and download it again. It will, have, it will be reset for you and should start working just fine. So the games that I have available right now are, a, let's see, this one was sums to 10, addition to 20, measurement, geometry, and place value. And the target age for these is first grade, but many of them um, dip into kindergarten standards and then a tiny bit into second grade. So you know your students and the level that they need reinforcement with. So um, hopefully that, that can guide you when you're looking for games. I'm going to continue to make these games to mirror the guided math units. So be on the lookout for more if it's something that you enjoy. Thanks.